All right, what's going on, everybody? But I got a mess here. I got to clean up, guys. I know. Um, I'm here to pick up the rack because I'm going to go paint it at home. I believe I got primer and everything I need over there. So I don't think I have a wrench that big. I'm going to have to find one here before I go. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just finished eating. I'm about to get started on this. Again, this is an EP3 rack. I believe this is from a 02, the guy said. It'll be good to get this painted, make it look good again. I want to say if this car is a 02, damn near 20 years old, you know, let's get in there. I got this. I forgot I had this. So I do need a spray to put this into. Yeah, I'll just pour it in here, mix it in with this. This doesn't have much left. Damn, this thing is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> trying to carry this with one hand for you guys place that right there we'll be back we'll need this we're gonna spray this and leave it here for a little while oh it's right here all right i found it let's see what we can do with this it might not be doing anything at all let's go ahead and grab this Here, let it dry for a little bit. There we go. You know, that's it. So everything is masked off. Um, I just went around with the painter's tape, like I said I would. I hit this with a, I think it was 400 grit. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this outside, give it some primer, and then um, we'll go ahead and do like three more coats of this. All right. So before I wash this, let me just show you guys. How this all turned out so then i was ready to spray this with the primer and then silver but i don't think i got like it still has like a dust or something on it so we're gonna go ahead and just go power wash this real quick so that nice guy over there let me uh go in there cut ahead of him i did put this back on because i wasn't sure if the water was gonna leak inside the other uh, rack and we definitely don't want water in there but yeah i think i got it pretty clean so yeah we're gonna prime this probably like twice give it like two base coats and then we should be all set. So now we're gonna hit it with this one. It's uh, universal aluminum. So in three, two, one. So there it is, done, two coats. I'm gonna let it dry looks pretty good i don't think it's gonna rain tonight so i might just leave it out so we'll pick up what we left off tomorrow all right guys so i just got up really early right now it's uh, 7 24 a.m but i've been feeling like super motivated lately so yeah one of my fish died yesterday so this is the only other one i have i got a little bit of a bus right now but this is all going to the to the garage but the rack turned out great i don't know if you guys can see that turned out really good man all these tools everything everything that's here we're gonna bring with us so we're on our way it is raining so it's gonna slow me down a bit what time is it 7 51 took me like 50 minutes to get out of the house looks like they're open but i don't feel like their lights ever turn off i don't think i've ever seen a an advanced auto part with the lights off so they open at nine it used to be eight now it's nine on a sunday so all right let's see what we can do and we'll be back i ended up bringing this back the extreme power and here are all the brake stuff there's that i brought my tools here's the axle we're not gonna need this yet here is what's going in we have the rbc and the engine harness over here we don't need that yet this should be the valve cover yep you guys oh well, shit hold on you could actually see the flakes in here yeah this looks really good man this looks really good in the light i like it i brought that the camber kits the brake pads so we'll find a spot for this later i'll put it right there so there's the other axle and then this tote so this is all my soldering stuff my soldering gun here's the engine and transmission Ugh, k2082 um, here's my battery tray. I don't know if I showed you guys. Bring this over here. Better lighting. So let's get this out of here. What we're going to do is a lot of people, you know, take this off. Maybe they'll clamp it back on or, and then you need the tool to like crimp it. Um, I don't have that. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right here. Take this out and then we'll glue it. And then um, that'll be that. This is just the way I chose to do it. A lot of you guys are probably like, no, don't do it like that. I did it to the R sex and it's been fine. So um, I had no problems there like that. Surprise is not like crushed or broken. Doesn't have like any grease on it. So here's the old one. I hear that changing these man just makes a huge difference. Go ahead and clean this up. Uh, what time is it guys? 
They open at 9. We're going exactly at 9. So 837 and clean. There's that one. Go ahead and get the SHG one. So here it is. SHG, you guys can look it up. I'll leave a link down below. This will help with all the rack play problems you're having with the rack. If you feel it like swaying a little bit or, you know, stuff like that, uh, maybe it's time to upgrade this. So this is going to go in like that. That's pretty good fitment. That is perfect fitment, actually. And then this one's going to go in like that. I messaged them directly, SHG, and they said you need wheel bearing grease. So when you guys are installing a rack, right, you're going to need this. You're going to need this mount, right? Without these two brackets, you cannot install this rack. I'm going to have to get some new hardware. Yeah, so we're going to go get some new bolts. They should be opening soon. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I got the Mobile One wheel bearing chassis suspension universal joint i don't know synthetic grease and then i picked up these right here m8 1.5 by 25 millimeter these are the ones that go here so let's go ahead and test fit this make sure it's gonna fit um these should fit perfect though yeah that's pretty good this is pretty good so we got that let's go ahead and throw this on here so shit i keep forgetting all right this one goes over here so this one goes here We'll go ahead and place this right here. Guns right here. Figure out what size it is. This one right here. All right. It's got to torque those down, whatever the torque is for that. All right, we'll go ahead and grease this up. Pretty simple. We'll go ahead and grease everything up. Supposed to slide back and forth, so we'll be, uh, little generous with it all right throw this in throw this one in there grease all that up in there as well and then throw this sucker in there all right so that should be that this should last me like the rest of my life i'm gonna put this rack slider on here for now just to keep it in place now we're gonna work on um centering this rack as best as we can um i'm gonna show you guys how i did on the rsx it worked out pretty good all right so we'll bring this over here centering this thing i kind of just figured it out on my own when i first did it i just like installed it on the car and i was like oh shit like <laughs> i can't turn this all the way this way or this side turns a little more so i figured you have to kind of like center this thing basically i'll go all one way we got to figure out how many complete turns you can get out of this thing so i got it all the way to the right side so it's nice and straight we're gonna count the turns that's what i'm gonna do so one right there one two so two and three quarters um i'll just say it's like two and a half kind of plus a little bit more so half of two and a half whatever that is like a, a whole turn and like a quarter we'll take it back all the way back to the other side because we kind of know what we need already all right right there so i'm gonna give it a whole turn this is just to get it close we can dial it in once we get it on the car so a whole turn and then a quarter and then i'd say like a little bit more so something like that that should be pretty close let's go ahead and bring this over here this is this side i think we said it was 46 foot pounds right bend these on by hand just to make sure we don't cross thread any of this again we don't want to lock this down yet because we want to double check and make sure everything's going to work all right so this is the inside of the car <laughs> i just got a bunch of stuff inside everything is in here but fuse box is down because we had to remove the fuse box harness not sure if you guys can see that but you want to get this um steering thing into this first get that in there you don't have to put the bolt in or anything yet because you might have to still adjust it whatever also when you're putting that in try and have your steering wheel nice and straight so when you push it in everything is kind of lined up um way do we spun all right so this way one and we should get like a quarter yeah that's it that's pretty good so here we go this way one and we should get a quarter turn oh one and a half since this one goes um does a full turn and then stops like halfway we need it to stop sooner right we want it to stop like maybe around maybe like right there or something so let's get it back to center right 
center. Um, we'll pull that off, right? This little spline thing, we'll pull it off, turn the spline on the rack, turn it clockwise just a little bit, maybe like, I don't know, just a tiny bit. And then we'll center the steering wheel up and then drop it back in and then we'll check it again. You can slide this thing off like that. You guys see that? You do have to take this 10 millimeter off. Take this off. There's gonna be one here, right? And another one over here. And then you can make all your adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with that. Get it even on both sides. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Let me just show you guys. One, two. See how it's kind of just stops right here, the H. At this angle, this should be the same on this side. So center, one, two, kind of at an angle. So that works, that's perfect. Again, this is me just trying to figure this out on my own. This could be the wrong way, this could be the right way. I don't really know, but this is just me using my head. So <laughs> I don't really know. So now that everything is all set, we can lock it in. Make sure you have the spline on this side nice and flat so you can stick the screw in <clears throat> and then the first bolt you want to put in right you want to put these back in is going to be on this side because this side has that has that groove right there so make sure you can slide this in and since the spline on this side is very long like the flat side hold up all right you see how you got massive play right there this can go in second so there it is all right so the rack is all set in there this thing looks, it's starting to look like something now, guys. It's starting to look like something, slowly, slowly. Set this to 46 foot-pounds, right there. Lock that in. Um, we'll try and do it without an extension because that kind of changes the torque, I think. I think it does. Again, if you guys have an answer for this, the torque for this, let me know. But yeah, these are all tight now. This ain't going nowhere. This thing is, is awesome, man. It's nice when you have the right tools and you don't have to worry about any of that, you know? All right, since the rack is all set, I might as well show you guys the wiring, which is right here. And I did this already for the RSX, so the wiring is going to be the same. I'm going to put a card up on the right corner. Go and check that out. It's gonna teach you, or it's gonna show you how to wire up the EPS. Um, you guys can route them however you want. You don't have to do everything the way I do it. Probably do something like that. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Um, see if we can find the brackets that go here and here. This one, I'm pretty sure this one went here. Yeah, that definitely went there. So we'll put that here. So we just clip that in. That's gonna go like that on the bottom. It's perfect. This one's gonna clip in here. Perfect. This is gonna clip in here. This is my favorite part about builds, is putting the car back together. I, so I don't know where I put the rubber grommet. So I think this one might look a little better anyways. This one's from the RSX. The hole should be the same. So, see here. I think that looks really good. I think we did pretty good for today. I wanna separate the videos. So this will be a whole rack video in case you guys need this in the future. Or somebody in the future is gonna be doing a swap like this. I will see you guys in a couple days probably. I might be back tomorrow. And we made good progress today. So I'm out of here. Everyone be safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.